Hey guys, welcome back to Oxygen Not Included! Clay's amazing space colony adventure simulator extraordinaire! My name is Twitchy and this is my tremendous Trojan, a hunk of space rock adrift out there in the void of nothing, packed full of little homunculi that we just printed forth from, I presume, some sort of genetic code uh, to go forth, populate, and do my biddings. Biddings which include, but are not limited to, to containing the cold steam vent. Because you can see we've got a few holes there and I want to keep that all nice and close. Uh, we don't want uh, unwarranted moistenings going around. We need to try and do something with the hot outlet from the metal refinery there. We, we don't actually have it going anywhere. We were just using the storage of the pipe to contain it. And that's already run out on us. Uh, we're going to do something with some germ management. We're also draining the left, the spillage that happened a little while ago. That's going to be uh, drained out today that's going to be a fine and dandy but also the cold pond we're going to try and widen it out we're going to actually get this little segment that we've been working on for a couple of episodes now actually finished we're going to try and make mainly the access way uh, all, all fine and dandy that's the problem is the access we've also got some problems with polluted water up here which we're going to try and solve with the application of some pumps so that should work out pretty well for the situation as long as we can get there before it overspills. We just spent a very long time making sure the water in that tank is nice and clear and it would be a shame if the polluted ice above it was to warm up, drip down enough polluted water to actually overflow into it. That would be horrific, a waste of everybody's time, especially if it actually contained any germs. But I don't think it does. The cold biome is actually quite naturally devoid of any germs. Okay, we are going around and we are following Brom at the moment, mainly because I was like, well, I'm not really sure what needs doing. So if we watch a, a duplicate, maybe we can get an idea of where the base is at. And it turns out that uh, disinfectant, disinfecting is where everybody is at. Uh, every time that I look around and see what anybody's doing, it seems to either be moving stuff around or cleaning said stuff that they seem to be moving. So uh, this, this seems uh, not too bad a situation to have my guys in. One thing that I did notice is that there was no way of cleaning hands passing in and out of this this airlock here so i thought it'd probably be a good idea to put a sink down and try and limit some of the disinfecting that needs to happen around here and maybe the duplicates can do their own cleaning maybe we, we we can hope another thing that i noticed is that this ladder seems to be a hot spot of germ breeding uh, i assume the fact that it's outside the bedroom is merely coincidental it's actually from bringing germs from outside this area you would expect to be dirty it's got a whole load of polluted water everywhere but more importantly on the left hand side you can see this is where we keep dumping out actual polluted water uh, so yeah I would expect there to be a bit of a germ build up there you can see just above all our people right now that uh, water spill is really starting to get to the point where we are going to be done with it we need to start thinking about what we're going to do with that area my main thought is maybe we're going to turn it into some sort of control area for the hot tanks because uh, at the moment we have a, a, a weird situation where there's a lot of things controlling but the controls overlap in a very um, unhealthy full way uh, so let's say that you know we, we get to the point where the water is both hot enough and germ free it starts pumping but of course this means that the water level drops and the hydro sensor at the top of the tank goes oh please do keep pumping more dirty water in and that is a bad situation to be in overnight i'm going to go through and i'm going to figure out the plumbing for the polluted water. We want to need to try and get this out of here and all I need to do is put it into the dirty line there. So as long as that all works out and uh, goes through as I think it should, and I think I should, as long as I'm not like crossing any of the clean lines, then it should work out pretty well. Looking at the way the Weeze Warts are valiantly trying to warm up the tiles down below here, uh, not to warm up, sorry, chill down the tiles down below. The main reason I did that is because you can see that the uh, Weeze Wart that was actually in the water tank no longer exists. It, it got flooded, it popped, uh, it needed to be moved before the seed destroyed itself. I don't, I don't know if seeds destroy themselves, but I don't like having seeds just kind of like hanging around. Bad things tend to happen. Okay, so now we've got that hot water outflow. I'm going to put it halfway up the, the drop shaft in some sort of uh, vain effort that maybe if, if they are in smaller droplets, they will chill on their way down more than being a great big lump of like several hundred kilom uh, kilograms of water underground. Uh, checking the, the oil reservoir is still down below and not destroyed itself. Yes, it's all looking good. You know, paranoia reign supreme in most of my gaming so I've uh, got, got to double check these things and the pipes for this uh, drainage system seem to be going pretty well thankfully there uh, is not really any sort of um, restrictions on travel at this this side obviously uh, the, the the trip down below here uh, it turns out there are like 
four exosuits here and four is not enough. It turns, we need more for this side. So we've got people doing a lot of work, but we also have people queuing up to continue using them and they end up like having to try and figure out what to do on the right hand side where there are five exosuits and they get to do a lot more over there. Just quickly installed a little bit of automation on the air pump down below because it just carried on pumping and it was just creating a vacuum which you know it's not terrible but it was a waste of energy uh, not that i'm that bothered because we do have quite a lot of energy to spare at the moment uh but it's it's just nice to keep these things all going to, to to the minimal lines uh i'm not sure if you can see in the water tank there appears to be a little bit of polluted water there uh must have dripped down and this is why i'm trying to do the job that we are doing right now uh, basically waiting on conductive wire uh, so that, that's that's our little problem here. Unfortunately, uh, it takes a bit of time for people to... Well, first they need the exosuit to be available. Then they need to go and get the gold and then bring the gold in here and uh, and do the work. So that that's the thing. Uh, on to that end, I also managed to replace the tiles down in the bottom right with obsidian. I had actually made them out of local materials to try and build, speed up the build process. But then I applied my smarts and was like, wait, we need to try and chill this down. So we put obsidian down that side instead i noticed a little bit of natronium over here i wasn't quite expecting it and uh put down a bunch of a uh, bunch of tiles to try and figure out the outline of whatever geyser this is down here and put down uh some sort of protection from the elements so we could hopefully uh go and expose that without causing ourselves any damage uh because they could be anything carbon dioxide chlorine natural gas geyser i i just don't know uh i'm obviously hoping for water given the situation where it's at but that that would just be too good that said we did have the the natural gas geysers that spawned right next to each other but trying to capture that spot the shine bug i didn't quite see it there I, I didn't speak quick enough but in the place where the water spillage was there's a shine bug just kind of hanging out there and i've put the uh, the wrangling station down to try and capture it uh it hasn't it hasn't flown into the right area yet so waiting continues talking about waiting continue we're still trying to get this hot water outlet down uh it turns out people would rather, rather walk right past it than try and actually do anything about it and i also keep trying to find ways of moving the transport tubes around but it's actually really difficult to figure out a way of getting the extra transports down to the uh, to left and right i suppose really we should try and figure out some way of going from the airlock to the cold water tank maybe even a little further up that that probably would be a good idea i don't do it this this time but uh you know i'm always talking about future plans because this, this is a game about future plans, you know, it's uh, identifying things that want to be done and go and do them uh, and then spend the rest of your existence dealing with the cold water tanks, right? Is, is that not how the game goes? So as I was saying, here we're trying to catch a shine bug and uh, I'm, I'm getting a little frustrated with him not getting into the into the trap. But uh, I, I would like to, as, as shine bugs seem to just end up over that way, we're going to move them to the wrangling station on the other side and just let them diffuse across the base. And hopefully we'll just end up with waves of of nice decor going across because shine bugs increase your decor your your uh, morale boost for the local area so i'm trying to see here whether the water is cooling down during its drop <coughs> spoilers no i don't think it actually is it might be cooling down a little bit it might actually be saving us a little bit of, of troubles there but it's not enough for me to notice and we are noticeably increasing the temperature of the the water in the pot in the tank okay so we're going to try and make a whole load of gold because i think this is the thing that is holding up the production of the uh the the, the spill drainage pump on the other side obviously we're waiting just for a little bit of conductive wire uh, whilst we're at it i'm going to start digging across the top of our base so we can expose everything up there uh, we're going to start wanting to open all that up for farms and better kitchen at some top point one of the good things about the swamp biome uh, is the fact that it's like temperaturally neutral for the duplicates they, uh, they they seem to not mind very much being in there and to that end i'm going to start emptying out a whole bunch of the biomes so we can just get some extra room uh, extra room is pretty cool uh, it's better than the cold biomes or the hot biomes because yeah as i say temperaturally neutral Ever since the great oil spill of uh, cycle 154, we've been slowly trying to pump out this little chamber on the bottom left here where we lost a whole bunch of equipment. Uh, we will be doing more than just getting oil for plastics when we process this all down. We'll also be getting back a whole load of gold and stuff like that that we put into some materials down there. Uh, so we need to get our people down to this now newly drained area. You can see that all the water has been mopped and it's time to start moving all the materials into storage compactors and such forth. I need a 
a slightly more comprehensive storage system. And I think it really needs to be mentioned that I am struggling quite hard on, uh, on, on keeping this place tidy. I seem to be doing okay going around and taking out all the uh, the old infrastructure, but the, the mining detritus, all the things that people have dropped during the whole process of uh, recovering some uh, resources, seems to be leaving its lasting mark on my on my base. I'm really not down for that. It's uh, doing things like this, putting down uh, ladders, and then you end up with um, like literal tons and tons of materials at the bottom of the ladder, and it takes the, the cleanup crew many cycles to work through that. And in that many cycles, the rest of the crew has gone ahead and uh, put down a whole load of new build orders and new dig orders and have got themselves much more mess to deal with. Which, you know, that's that's life, I suppose, but what, what a thing. Okay, so the tank is now clean, in big inverted commas, and ready to be capped off. So hopefully we can uh, do that and then uh, break down the divider wall in between. And then there'll be more surface area to help with the cooling. But more, more likely, actually, what's going to happen is we're going to have more volume of hot water in there and it's going to take a little bit longer but uh, we'll we'll figure out a way around that we really just needed a way of emptying water quicker because the hot water tanks they're getting a little bit full really they are not really coping with the amount of polluted water we are producing every cycle uh, so really this means we need to work on a new system for dealing with it uh, I have a few systems that I wish to deal with uh, obviously there are a few things like pumping polluted water into uh, various farms I think it's something like the mushrooms and the pinch of pepper need polluted water but there are also other things we can do with water as well and not to mention that of course we can um, scrub the polluted water into clean water and use that to irrigate stuff as well um, especially with the new <coughs> new water system coming from the cool steam vent that will uh, aid our water uh, immensely like immensely I realized one of the problems that we had with capturing shine bugs was the fact that we didn't actually tell them where we wanted the shine bugs to go so they wouldn't start the process because it couldn't figure out an end process so I put that down and started to wait for even longer for the people to come around and just do the jobs that I've got marked down but, um, unfortunately and the thing that I didn't realize at the time was when I was putting down the clean orders the uh, the pickup all the stuff off the floor orders i kind of did it at a, a a very accelerated priority rate i believe it's up uh, eight or nine uh, whereas most of the jobs that get put down nowadays are about a seven uh that's just to differentiate them from the day-to-day -day jobs that are about a six uh i'm not sure why we have to start our uh, priority system at five i think it would be really nice if we could just put stuff down at a priority one um, I, I suppose the game now remembers your default choices now, like the choice that you made last time. So I suppose if I was clever about it, when I first put down the first item, I could have pressed a 1, uh, and that would have rebalanced the entire entire system, as opposed to doing what I'm doing, where I've only got essentially 5 priority numbers uh, going from 5 to 10, 5 to 9 even, uh, and red alert, of course. Okay, so I started digging the area up above from the other side. We've uh, been putting a ladder up the right-hand side, and I thought it would, now was the time to start um, expanding leftward from there to expose the top, as I was saying, trying to expose more room. After a little bit of womanaring with the printer, I decided to make a whole bunch of omelettes. Um, I'm not even sure that we need omelettes, but I'm going to get them anyway. We seem to be doing all right surviving on the prestigious amount of lice loaf that we have. Uh, with the temperature, with sorry, with the cold water tank almost overflowing, I dropped the temperature down that it needs before it starts pumping, just at literally a single degree, or up a single degree, sorry, uh, and it starts pumping that water out, and uh, that will carry on until we get hot again. Uh, the cool steam vent has finally finished its dormant state. This is one of the things that I was uh, waiting for, and we're start, going to start getting an awful lot of water. Uh, the big problem we're going to have here is trying to deal with the influx of water in the time that the steam vent is actually venting uh, the water that it produces is going to be quite a lot we're getting something like nine kilograms per second maybe six kilograms per second i couldn't quite see which one that was but as it's going to be uh, outgassing for many cycles i'm going to say 10 off the top of my head but it might be closer to 20 i don't know exactly how many um oh the mess has started uh, this this is why i was trying to 
pump the cold water out because the hot water tanks cannot keep up anymore. You can see that the top one there is very close to finishing. Very, very close to finishing, at which point we can turn everything on. But I needed a control system, and so I was off to the internet. Uh, I knew exactly what I needed. I needed an RS Norlax. Now, I, I know that's a, a, a set reset. Um, latch something something like that. i can't remember i need a latch anyway uh, i needed something that what when was given one signal would turn on and when it was given another signal would turn off cynical business was the man providing the forum post that showed me how to make an rs nor latch using the automation system that we have available to us i think i understand what is going on we've got a couple of um or gates uh this is either taking the input from the other half of the latch or from your input device uh those two are kind of feeding in each other via the wonder of a knock gate to try and make sure that there's the right type of signal uh, and when one signal fires the fact that it's feeding back on itself will sustain that signal uh, until the other one fires at which point that overrides i think that's how it works um we're gonna have to do a lot of fine tuning uh, along the way but i think right now i've set up the system that should hopefully do it after a little bit of twisting uh, uh tweaking sorry of the system i think it should work all well and not a moment too soon because that we have just had our last uh, made a mess of the cycle it's a, it's a little disappointing that the duplicates couldn't hold on for i don't know two cycles i mean who can't who can't hold on to their bodily functions for two cycles having a look at the cold steam outlet collection pond uh the temperature is definitely uh, increasing here and i'm not actually outputting from the metal refinery so just from the power of the cold steam outlet which is actually outletting at about 100 degrees uh then uh yeah it's filling it's uh, increasing the temperature of the water down below but you know we're in a cold bar and it's gonna gonna balance out at some point throwing down a bunch of ladders just to make sure everyone can get everywhere it looks like that it's gonna work out a-okay just waiting for people to come along and work on the inside of this tank it's much more important that the inside of the tank gets worked on whilst the water level is a uh, low of course we could open the door at other times I suppose there's no reason why not uh, but we're gonna go around and we're gonna like bump down the priority of everything that we can spot just to make sure that the inside of the tank is actually the highest priority job now obviously people are going to be coming around and doing different jobs because their own internal priorities are a little bit higher obviously builders will go and build and diggers will go and dig uh, but I really I really want like all the stuff taken out that that would be great if at all possible there was a whole bunch of uh, pipes that needed taken out there was a whole bunch of wires that needed taken out this was all from the uh, earlier draining process uh okay, taking a moment to look around and just check all my oxygen production facilities because you know that's important that we don't run out of oxygen uh and making sure that the right equipment is being made in the metal refinery i've got a few different uh different metal wants around the base some things want iron some things want gold uh got to make sure that it's all being respected there that was merely merely because we were running out of gold at one point and the game decided ha oh, you don't have enough gold here let me queue up everything in iron instead i was like all right i suppose if that's that's the way we've got to work it that'll be the way we've got to work it uh, water spillage seems to have uh, happened inside the base i'm uh, guessing that this is someone moving a little bit of snow around or something like that and they uh, they got interrupted and it dropped and got warmed up uh, and that gas by the uh, guys out there if you didn't catch it was a chlorine one which is quite nice uh, I, i've not really explored the uh, the realms of chlorine uh, i'm not sure how cold or how hot or whatever we can make it i know we can liquefy it uh, at about minus 30 i'm not sure exactly i just know that in the cold biome it will uh, liquefy if it's in the right area uh, and then uh, re regasify when it gets to the edge of the biome so it's, it's somewhere about minus 30. Uh, still people making a mess i'm not entirely sure why we should have everything like flowing and pumping now uh, so uh, yeah may maybe at some point that will uh, resolve itself uh, the main problem here of course is the fact that the rs nor latch is not set up properly sorry my bad uh, and i go around i uh, tweak the inputs to make it work and i hope that that's good enough i'm not sure exactly whether it's uh, set up in the right system we're gonna have to tweak it a little way i'm not entirely certain that all those knock gates are needed i might have to go through and um, figure it out of course i did just copy cynical businesses plan um, i need to like now study it and work out what's going on uh, and then make it more specifically tailored to me okay the uh, the containing of the uh, cool gas geyser doesn't seem to be working particularly well but i decided where we are not pumping water fast enough out of this cold bar, uh, cold water tank uh, so i hook up another another pump give it the same 
same automation signal, uh, just moving twice as much. And you can see that we can actually move twice as much through uh, any pipe. Uh, uh, the, the pumps, for some reason, only pump out half as much as a pipe can handle. Uh, that, that's kind of all right. I can live with that. Uh, just having a look at this neuralizer here and the little logic setup underneath. Not really worried about it. But then we get the Joya Seed or a Puffling. Uh, I go with the Puffling because I had no idea what to do with the Joya Seed. Now, sat here being editor twitchy afterwards, I'm, I'm filled with a little bit of regret about that. I should definitely have taken the thing that I didn't understand. Uh, but no, no, I went for the Puffling because we are probably running out of Pufflings. No. That's not that's not the case at all. Uh, I do notice here that I've uh, set up a little bit of a flaw in my hydrogen system. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to deal with it. The um, the hydrogen generator is just consuming the hydrogen, whether it is needed or not. So I'm going to have to try and find out some way of um, limiting that particular system. Well, another thing that I do know is that I dropped some items down upon the pressure plates just from digging in, and the signal turned to green. So I'll go and give some orders just just to carry on digging the next couple of bits above that and hopefully setting all those pressure plates to green. The pumps are taking a little while to get put in and so long, in fact, that we're getting uh, horrific amounts of drippage from the polluted water. You can see it is there. Uh, it, some of it has even swilled around enough to get down close to one of the pipes. And uh, this, this worries me greatly, as I'm sure you can imagine, but along comes the duplicates to save the day and put it into bottles. I, I am really glad that when there's a little bit of polluted water underneath uh, like actual water uh, you can come along and make it clean you can just like apply the mop in the right place and it works uh, i'm currently having a look at the system and trying to trace through pathways i'm, I'm like right this system comes through here and move it around that way and then this one can kind of be an ore um and so the fact that it's an ore also confuses me which means like if any if either of them fire um so yeah i'm gonna have to figure out the priority system there i i would have thought the bottom one would have wanted to be an XOR or something like that. Like, so one gets priority over the other. But that's, like, my specific use case. I want, like, the top one to take priority over the bottom one. Uh, not necessarily an RS Norlatch system. But the uh, the bottom tank is now empty and we are pouring even more hot water out. And this is exactly why I needed to expand that cold water tank. Because uh, we're having big troubles now. We are having big troubles. We are trying to shift more water than that tank can even... Uh, even hold on to. Uh, despite that, I'm still like these pumps, these pipes, sorry. Much more important. Much more important to move those pipes around. All right, looking around the base, we're trying to find the next job that needs doing. Uh, and mainly, it's all about water right now. They call this game oxygen not included, but it really should be like water's not scrubbed or something like that. Uh, I'm watching the water get pumped out at the top there, but man, it's taking its time, mainly because, you know, all the pumps are waiting for the next set of pumps to move on so that we can then like scrub some more water and then move the next bit on which is waiting for the coal tank to empty out yeah it's, there's this whole self-dependent system that needs to be worked through here but away uh, i can't even see who that i think it's shrouticus is going uh, digging our way through this biome over here trying to just explore away see what's going on see what we can find elsewhere for some reason he decides that the ladder is much more important rather than digging across but that that's fine as long as the exploration continues forth. I'm kind of okay with that. It's time to finally set up the orders to uh, crack open this cold water tank. I want to make sure that we can uh, cap it off at the top because obviously trying to uh, trying to keep the polluted water out of it is a number one priority right now. We've got the door there just in case we do need to gain access to that far end of the tank. Uh, and Brum going around making the beautiful, beautiful additions to the base. Watching everybody deal with the polluted dirt and the uh, water sieve there is quite nice, but it's really not the jobs that I want getting on with, guys. If you could go along and do those, that would be great. I think the reason that I'm watching these rather than keeping an eye on the tank is because I've put the pipes as a higher priority job, and I thought that maybe it would get dealt with first, but, uh, you know, the arcane workings of the uh, duplicate mind is a little bit uh, hard to fathom sometimes. Which which way are they going to go first? Which where they're going to go next. Who knows? So, to try and uh, combat that, what I've actually done is set up one of these storage compactors to be specifically for refined metals, so that anybody that happens to be coming from the left-hand side can bring it into the center of the base, so, so that if it is needed on the right-hand side, they don't need to make, like, the double crossing of the two airlocks to try and make that happen. Because uh, I feel, deep in my uh, my bureaucrat's bones, that that is one of the problems that is going down. One of the biggest problems we've got at the moment is duplicates going around and not doing the jobs that I say are important, but rather going around doing the jobs that they think are important. 
People keep coming up and uh, working on that little ladder instead of working on the pump that we've got there. They go along and do the automation work, but they leave the actual pump unfinished. I'm really not sure what's going on with the duplicates at this point in time, but I'm going to assume that it's just overlapping spheres of priorities not working well together. Uh, to round off the episode, I've got to point out that only one of our natural gas geysers is currently working, so we get kind of a rolling blackout across the uh, across the base, a brownout, I suppose. Only only small segments are going down for little bits at a time, uh, so no big problems there. And with the, the final pump being built, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where we're uh, expanding the base even further and trying to find more secrets contained in this rock. But I'll see you then, where we're going to do that. Bye!